uh, on the scripture, Mark 16, verse 15. The Bible says, And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Hallelujah. This was a command, an instruction, a directive which the Lord Jesus Christ gave to the church or to the believer. Go ye is a command. Any man who wants to command the wealth of God must first obey, obey the command of God. Any man who wants to command things of God must fe obey, first obey the command of God. All of us want to command wealth. All of us want to command things of God. All of us want to preach. All of us want to say something concerning the things of God. But most do not want to obey the command of God. What is the command? Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Hallelujah. That means you need to be a soul winner. Now, in Luke 15 verse 10, it says, Likewise, I say to you, there is joy in the, in the presence of angels of God over one sinner that repents. Amen. When you win souls, there is this, a spiritual reaction in heaven. Hallelujah. When you become a soul winner, something in heaven reacts. A spiritual reaction takes place in heaven. That leads to protection. That leads to provision. That leads to longevity in life. Glory to God. Life here on earth. When you become a soul winner, a reaction takes place in heaven. Hallelujah. I, I've listened to many people praying for long life and uh, uh, longevity. They are praying for uh, provision. They are praying for protection. That is what we are praying for. Everybody in, in the whole world is praying for protection, is praying for divine health, is praying for provision, is praying for longevity in life here on earth. But let me tell you something. The key is to become a soul winner. When you win soul, there is a reaction in the spirit realm that leads to that protection. Hallelujah. Every great soul winner will attract multiples of blessings from heaven. Multiple blessings. Not one blessing, but multiple blessings from heaven. If you become a soul winner, you, you attract multiple uh, blessings. Sometimes you don't even need to pray for things, but you attract them. Why? Because you are a soul winner. It was a command that Jesus Christ, the Lord Jesus Christ himself gave to the church. I believe that uh, even in this season where we are in lockdown all over the world, we are in our homes, but uh, 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 as we are reflecting on our salvation, we are reflecting why we are believers. As we reflect, let us take the command. And what is the command? Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature, every creature. Hallelujah. Now, as I'm preaching right now, I'm going into all the world. I'm going into all the world on YouTube right now. I'm going into all the world right now on Facebook. I'm going into all the world right now, even on WhatsApp. Glory to God. And uh, many are going to hear this message as I'm going out. So you need to play your part as a believer and become a soul winner. Not just a soul winner, but a great soul winner. Hallelujah. Somebody say, I'm going to be a soul winner. I'm going to win souls for the kingdom of God. Because when I win souls, there will be spirit, spiritual reaction in the spirit realm that will lead to protection, that will lead to provision, that will lead to longevity, that will lead to life here on earth. Glory to God. You see, when you begin to do that, there is joy unspeakable, full of glory in your life. Hallelujah. Clap hands to Jesus and say, I will be a soul winner. Hallelujah. <laughs> glory to God. Now, in Malachi 3, verse 17, it says, And they shall be mine, says the Lord of hosts. In that day, when I make up my jewel, and I will spare them as a man spares his own son, that serves him. Hallelujah. See, whoever is serving God is not allowed to die as an ordinary man. Let me repeat that again. Whosoever is serving God is not permitted to die as an ordinary man. 
When such man is in trouble, God himself will fight for him as a man fight for his son who serves him, says the book of Malachi. God will fight for that person as a man fight for the son who serves him. If you are a father and you have a son who really serves you, let me tell you something. Everything in you is directed to him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If you read your Bible very clearly, you see very well that every son who got an impartation from the father is a son who served well. Hallelujah. Now, we're talking about winning souls here. Whosoever serves God is not allowed to die as an ordinary man. Glory to God. The greatest thing that you can do for God is to win souls for him. Every believer must become a soul winner before he becomes a leader in the church. Before he becomes a pastor. Before he becomes a bishop or a deacon. Before he becomes an apostle. Become, become pro, you need to be a soul winner first. Many are running to be a position. Actually, let me tell you something. By the end of this coronavirus epidemic season, there are many people who will have to step down from those positions because they are not winning souls. Hallelujah. Last week I said, don't strive for position, but strive for service. Hallelujah. Strive for service. Even in the cabinet right now, I see right now, uh, 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 as, the, as the president is announcing every week or so, uh, you see after that there are ministers who come in to play. We are not seeing any other ministers. There's quite a lot of ministers, but we don't see them. It becomes, uh, sometimes some of the positions have become redundant. So we don't want those kind of positions in the church which are redundant. Amen. Hallelujah. You need to be a soul winner. When people say hallelujah, when you look around, you see a group of people that were brought to salvation by you. You see people that are good. Many people want to lead people. They don't even know who brought them to Christ. Now, become a soul winner. The first soul that you need wins people in your family, win your neighbors, win your workmates, win your classmates, win your friends, win the community. Then, Jesus Christ will say, when you are in trouble, I will fight for you as a man who fights for his son who serves him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. In Numbers 32, verse 23 says, But if you will not do so, behold, you have sinned against the Lord. And be sure your sin will find you. Hallelujah. Now, these are the children of Israel. And... Um, uh, 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 this was the time when Moses was with them, glory to God. And they were supposed to cross, and, uh, cross over Jordan, glory to God, and do some few things. And then, uh, 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 and, and then they followed the instructions of God. But if they did not do so, the Bible says, Behold, your sin, you have sinned against the Lord, and be sure your sin will find you. I want to bring it in to winning souls. God says, If... But if you will not do so, behold, you have sinned against the Lord. And be sure your sin will find you out. Hallelujah. I should not be coming here every Sunday and preach to you and polish you up so that you may go and do nothing during the week. Hallelujah. As a pastor... I should not be coming to midweek meetings. I should not be giving you inspirational words and polish you up so that you may go and do nothing. Glory to God. Everyone who is not aggressive in soul winning has sinned against God. We need to repent as believers. We need to repent even as pastors. We need to repent whether you're an overseer or you're a general overseer or whether you're a deacon or whether you're an usher, whether you're in the media, whatever place you are in, as long as you are a believer and child of God, we need to repent and begin to say, we are going back to soul winning. We are going to populate heaven. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We are going to populate heaven. Now, I, I, I want everyone to be aggressive. You must put in aggression. Someone will say, but pastor, I can't win souls. I can't go out of the house. No, you can still win souls because while you are not going out of the house, you are chatting with people on your phone. 
Well, at least they are not going out, you are coming online. Well, at least they are not going out of the house, you are, you are receiving phone calls. So there is always a space for you to serve God. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. I said last week, God is too smart to lose. God can never lose a battle. Right now, everybody is indoors, but let me tell you something. The gospel is going outdoors. Hallelujah. As I'm in my house right now, I'm speaking to the people who are out there all over the world. Glory to God. So God will never lose. So become a soul winner. Now, there are a few things that I want us to take note of. Uh, maybe about five or so, which we can take note of today. Now, uh, looking at the scripture on Numbers 32, verse 23, it says, if you, do, if you not do so, behold, you have sinned against the Lord. I, 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 I need to repent from my sins of sinning against the Lord. Now, the first sin that I identify from us or from individuals, if you are not a soul winner, is selfishness. It is selfishness that makes us not to win souls. Always thinking that, no, people must see me. You know, I'm the only one who gave my life to Jesus in my family. I'm the only one in my workplace. I'm the only one who has got this, who got his blessing. That is selfishness. Hallelujah. It is sin to be selfish. That is the first sin that we need to identify in our lives. If we are not soul winners, that means we are selfish. Number two, I'll go through these uh, 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 sins faster, which I call them sins. The second sin is a sin of pride. We fear to be rejected. If I talk to my boss, now he's going to look down upon me and think I'm a believer. No, I don't want. If I talk to my neighbor, I don't want them to identify me as a Christian because sometimes, I, uh, uh, sometimes I'm hot, sometimes I'm cold. You know, That's pride. The secret lies in witnessing. When you witness to people, when you tell them about Jesus Christ, I call it witnessing. When we got born again in the early uh, 90s, very early of the 90s, in 1991, 1992 there, 93, 94, 98, going up there, we used to go house by house calling it witnessing. Now, when you go witnessing, I said the secret lies in witnessing. When you go and witness to somebody about your testimony or the testimony of Jesus Christ, don't worry whether they get born again or not. Your job is to go and witness, then leave the results to God. Witness and move on and leave the results to God. Then you realize that, oh, the people that you were talking to about Jesus Christ, suddenly they are giving their life to Jesus. Why? Because it is the job of the Holy Spirit to convict and convince a person. Hallelujah. It is not your job to convince and convict them. Your job is to witness to them and the Holy Spirit comes in and you will convict them and convince them. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So pride must be gotten rid of in our lives and we begin become soul winners. Let me tell you something. It is a tragedy for one day the world or your neighbors find you preaching and they say, wow, so you have been a Christian all these years and we did not know. It's a tragedy. Hallelujah. We need to be proud about our Christianity. We need to be proud about our beliefs. We need to be proud about our faith. Glory to God. And let everybody know that we are believers. Glory to God. Now the third one, which I want to uh, uh, mention here, is a sin of unbrotherliness. I don't know whether there's an English word like that, but if it's not there, then let me put it up in the dictionary. Unbrotherliness. We only care for ourselves. How many members of the church have you been in touch with ever since lockdown? How many members of the body of Christ have you been in touch with ever since lockdown. It's a sin of unbrotherliness. A sin of unbrotherliness need to be removed out of the system. If you're a pastor, how many of your members have you been in touch with? If you're a member of the church, have you even been in touch with your pastor? Have you been in touch with your leaders? Have you even been in touch with people of the church? 
before we even talk about people outside, have you been brotherly? I'm talking about brotherhood, brotherliness. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If you are in a fraternal, you are a pastor, your, fr your brother, pastorly friends, you are talking to them, you are rejoicing with them. After, in the midst of lockdown, are you in touch with them? Or are you blaming God? And brotherliness is a sin which you need to get rid of. Hallelujah. And the fourth one is a sin of ungratefulness. I call it ungratefulness. When you witness, you change destinies. We have to make wizards and witches come out of business. Hallelujah. We, we need to close down shrines. We need to close down all the wicked and the wizards. We need to kick out all the witches out of our communities because we are now praying in our homes. Hallelujah. And why am I saying ungratefulness? Many times we are not grateful of our salvation. Jesus saved us. We need to be grateful. That we are not counted among the heathens. We are not counted among those who are destined for hell. We have been saved. Glory to God. We have been saved from destruction. So we need to be grateful. Hallelujah. You need to pray. No pastor, no leader must remind you that you need to pray in your house. Amen. Hallelujah. Nobody must remind you that you need to worship God. Uh, uh, listen to me. Listen to me. Uh, I'm very proud about my faith. I'm very proud about my faith. Uh, if, if you catch me sleeping and you wake me up, uh, I, I don't think I can forget that I'm a believer. Some believers forget that they are believers when they are awake. You are driving in your car, listen to the music you play in there. You are sitting in your house, you are studying, listen to the music. Because what you feed yourself in, you end up becoming. If you eat junk food, the results will show. If you eat healthy, the results will show. It's not for you to explain. Results show for themselves. Hallelujah. If you are a believer and you feed yourself the word, results will show. But if you don't, Calamity will follow you. You can try to run away. Calamity will follow you. Let me tell you something. When you become ungrateful of your salvation and you try to cover it up with some leaves, it will begin to show up. Let us become grateful of our salvation. Hallelujah. Let's be grateful. Let our children be proud about the faith that we are introducing, to the, introducing them to. Let our homes be proud of the faith we are introducing them to. Glory to God. L let our neighbors be proud of the faith we are introducing them to. And we become soul winners. May you go and win souls for the kingdom of God. So that by the time we, uh, 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 the lockdown is over and we are streaming back to church, uh, you bring your 10, uh, you bring your 20, you bring your 50, you bring your hundreds. Glory to God. Don't just walk in into church carrying your handbag. Don't just walk in into church putting your hand in the pocket. There's not going to be gentlemen here. It is a son who knows how to save the father who the father will fight for. Glory to God. Even in this time, in this season like this, let me tell you something. I was um, watching yesterday, somebody sent me a video clip from the UK uh, uh, of some people, uh, doctors and nurses, who that have died, that they know, that have died, uh, uh, during this COVID-19. There was quite a number of them. It was just some black uh, guys from Africa. I think he chose some from Africa. A number of them. I was looking at them. Those people look so healthy. Those people look whatever, but they are no more here. And we say, may their souls rest in peace. But you are here yourself. You need to be grateful. Hallelujah. You need to be grateful. Right now, even in South Africa, they are counting statistics every day, but you are still here. God is preserving you. May you continue to be grateful, and may you continue to serve him. May you continue to become a soul winner. God will bring preservation to your life. God will bring protection to your life, and God will bring provision to your life, and God will bring abundance to your life, and you are going to live long in this earth in the mighty name of Jesus when we begin to become soul winners. Hallelujah.
Glory to God. I believe that uh, um, with this topic or with this subject of being so winners or being fruitful, glory to God, because we are becoming fruitful in the land, and this fruit which we are bringing in is going to be a fruit that will remain. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. I, I, I want you to rise up from where you are right now. Rise up from where you are. And I want us to pray right now. And our prayer is, Lord, help me. Holy Spirit, help me to become a soul winner. I don't just want just to be a follower only. But, Lord, I want to be a soul winner. As the commander said, that whosoever, it says, go into the world and preach the gospel to every creature. And the book of, uh, 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 in the book it says, uh, whosoever wins soul is wise. Hallelujah. Whosoever wins souls, in book of Proverbs says, whosoever is a, is, a, is a soul winner is a wise person, is a wise man, is a wise woman. Hallelujah. May the wisdom of God come upon you so that you may become a soul winner. Hallelujah. And become a brotherly person. Glory to God. Communicate with your brothers. Stop this selfishness. Remove the pride. Cast away pride. Yes. Yes. That sin of ungratefulness. Reject it in the name of Jesus Christ. And ask God and say, Lord, renew within me a right spirit that I may become a soul winner and win souls for the kingdom of God. Encourage people. Even when you are there in that queue, in that uh, self-distancing queue, when you're looking for groceries, uh, there are people over there. Sometimes you just say, hello, how are you? I know people are always talking about, hey, things are bad. Things. No, 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 just say, how are you? They say things are bad. They say, oh, no, yeah, no. But God is in control. God is in control. You know, Jesus Christ died for us at the cross uh, for such a time as this. If you don't know him, uh, 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 there might be trouble someday. But if you know him, God has so much power to overshadow you with his grace. Somebody will ask you, okay, what are you talking about? Jesus? Then that's the opportunity to win a soul for Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There are many souls to be won for the kingdom of God. Let us go out there and become soul winners. Lift up your hands right now and begin to pray and say, Lord, I want to help me, Holy Spirit, to become a soul winner. Help me to win souls. Help me to win souls, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I don't just want to be a follower. I don't just want to be a stranger in the house of God, but I want to be a soul winner. I want to win souls for the kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, be my helper in the mighty name of Jesus. I want us to pray against these four sins which I mentioned here. Selfishness. Reject selfishness. Pride. Reject the spirit of pride. Yes, uh, and brotherliness. Uh, cast it away and say, Lord, uh, give me the spirit of brother, brotherhood. Uh, uh, ungratefulness. Uh, reject it. Uh, and say, Lord, I want to be grateful. Let's pray right now. Let's pray right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, help me, Lord. I repent from the spirit uh, of selfishness. Lord, I will not only care about myself. Uh, I not only care about my things. Uh, but Lord, oh Father. I will care about the winning souls. I will care about people of oh God. And the Father, I want them to come into the kingdom of oh God. Put a thirst and a hunger from in me, oh God, to become a soul winner. I cast away the spirit of pride. I reject it in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I don't want to look at myself as I'm bigger than anything, everybody. As, as if I'm the, I'm the only person in this earth, oh God, I reject pride. I reject pride in my in my in my ministry. I reject pride. Yes, in my profession. I reject pride as a father. I reject pride. Yes, as a brother in the house of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray, oh God, again as a sin of unbrotherliness. Yes, I reject the spirit of individualism. I reject the spirit of pride, of showing off. And Lord of Father, I will look for my brother. I will encourage them. I will look for my sister. I will encourage them. I will look for my brother. I will pray for them. I will look for my sister. Yes, yes, I will help them in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray, oh God, concerning the spirit of ungratefulness. Yes, Lord, I'll give thanks unto you, Lord, for your, your, your mercies are new every morning. I'll give thanks unto you, oh God. I'll be grateful unto you, oh God, because you have saved me in Jesus' name. Clap hands to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Now, uh, I think they will put an, uh, uh, an account. Uh, many people have been calling me about the account number. Pastor, you didn't put the account number on the thing last week. We want to put in our offering.
uh, it's always there. I think all the church members, you, you have that account. I don't have to keep on putting it all the time. You have it. But maybe for others, people who are not in our church, who will want to sow a, 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 a thing to the, of, to the foundation or support the work of God. But if you are listening to me right now, and uh, you are not in our church, but you go to another church, but you are, int you are excited about the message, please send in your offering, send in your tithe into your ministry. Hallelujah. Support the work of your church. Support your pastor. Uh, don't, worry, don't, don't worry. This thing will pass on. You go back again to church now. Don't become a, 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 a child who forgets about his own house, but you need the prayers of the house. Don't forget that God says, do not despise the gathering of all believers. Support the work of God. Support the church. Uh, uh, it saddens that sometimes even the pastors who are ministering, tirelessly ministering, now some of them, they, they, they don't even have food to eat. It's tragedy. Some we're, we're giving them food. And then you ask yourself, but what kind of sons do you have in the house that will not even communicate with their father, that will not communicate with their mother, that will not communicate with their pastor, and they leave the pastor to, 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 to go hungry? Pastors will never ask for anything from you. It is you, as a son of the house, who must rise up and say, wow, I will stand with my woman of God. I will stand with my men of God. I will stand with my leadership in the house of God. Please, may you go and do that as Christians and as believers. Hallelujah. Don't be a Facebook Christian who is always critical, who doesn't even know what God is all about. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But God is a giving God. If you ask anything from God, God will bless you. Why are you asking anything from God when you are not even giving? Glory to God. Do unto others as you want them to do to be done unto you. Hallelujah. Support your church. I just came this message. I know this message travels everywhere. Support your church. Support your man of God. Support your woman of God. Give your tithe. Give your offering. Give your seed. Whatever is supposed to be there. Glory to God. This week we I got a message, disturbing message, that many pastors, KZN and they, they've, they've been kicked out from their buildings because they could not pay the rentals. But there are members in the church who are supposed to be knowing that after COVID-19, they need to go back to church. Where do you go to? Glory to God. Look for your pastor. Find out. Is the rental paid? Is whatever paid? So do something. Exercise your faith. Glory to God. The faith without works is dead. The faith that can produce a, a, a hundred rand is the same faith that can produce a million rand. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Let us say the benediction right now. Say, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and forevermore. May the streets of, of, of uh, South Africa, the atmosphere of South Africa, be made safe for us as we live in it. We pray for the world, for the healing of the world, in the mighty name of Jesus. We honor your name, Father, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God bless you. Uh, Wednesday, please, uh, 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 I will send in some notes on Wednesday where you can have your own Wednesday meeting. I don't... I do not want to be keep on coming online every day or whatever. I can do that on a daily basis, but I don't want to do that. Glory to God. So Wednesday you'll be there. Uh, Tuesday, you know, we've got our home, home meetings. So you do your home meeting on Tuesday. Wednesday, there must be a teaching service. I'll send a teaching which you'll share with your family. Friday, we have a prayer. Always a prayer. And then Saturday, I'll come in to just to give you an inspirational word. And then please uh, uh, listen to that word. Now and again, now and again. It's, although it's five minutes, but it contains a lot. It, it must help you to build. Hallelujah. Until we meet again on the next Sunday, glory to God. God bless you. May his face shine upon you. And let me pray for those who are sick right now. Touch wherever there's pain right now. Touch wherever there's pain. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command every sickness to go. I command every pain right now to go. In the name of Jesus, I bring you total life and victory. In the name of Jesus, be healed and be free by the grace of God. No weapon that is fashioned against you shall be able to prosper. Every tongue that rises against you in judgment, I condemn right now. In the name of Jesus, you are healed, you are free, you are delivered in Jesus. Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah. Clap hands. God bless you in Jesus name. Amen.